Hey everyone, it's Mox here and recently I did a video on how I met my master Sibu, Derek Fung Pingbo and I am so so happy and honored that uh, Sifu has agreed to do this video so please allow me to introduce Sifu Derek we thought today we will tell you a little bit of background about Sifu Derek how he started training in Wing Chun and what it was like to train under y y Mr. Yip Man in Hong Kong in the 1950s and we're very lucky because uh, Sifu is still teaching today and uh, it's a very rare opportunity to look into that old world which you may see in the movies but it's a little bit different anyway uh, Sifu can you please tell us a little bit about your background where you were born and uh, where you grew up yeah I, I, I born in Hong Kong in 1939 uh, uh, so and then at the, that time unfortunately it's in called Japanese war there so when Japanese occupy Hong Kong at that time, and we are struggling very hard, so we moved back into China. From that's what I was about two to three years old, mm -hmm. that still a baby. Then until the war over, and then it was 1945. Uh, then because my father serving the National China Army, so we know that we find out would be have a future for his my father so my father want to go, go come back to Hong Kong mm -hmm. so we come back to Hong Kong at that time at that age I was about six years old uh -huh. and then since then uh, I stay in Hong Kong uh, until 1958 but at that time uh, when I uh, more as how to I join into the Wing Chun because I have a uh, variety great great auntie and always bring me because a child take me and take his son that's me my uncle go to the temple always worship worship the temple the temple is called uh, in charge one child in Hong Kong side called uh, Jai Gong Miu uh, Jai Gong Miu and then we were until we, we still very weak those that we both weak my uncle and I my uncle only one year older than I so uh, we about 13 years old about 13 years old we are starting starting uh, really going to the high school that time but still in primary school then one of the worker in the temple we call a uh, work of the how to call you uh, ask for something and then they call it the a oh, fortune teller uh, fortune I think you teller, mentioned. yeah yes. that one to explain he said hey you both are so weak how about you should go to uh, do some sort of muscle part and make your body healthy healthy of course my great aunt she would be delighted happy for that so yeah. she didn't she didn't argue she said that's a good idea yeah, you should yeah, go no, whatever they say something because she's so, so <laughs> Uh, to that believe everything for the temple uh -huh. people say. And luckily, this fortune teller was a friend of Mr. Yip Man. Is it? Yeah, he said, uh, I, I have a friend is teaching very good in uh, Kung Fu. Uh, I said, well, What the Kung Fu is called Wing Chun. Uh, we don't know what Wing Chun is. Yes. I said, oh, yes, that was like that. But it's not a hard work, it's just easy to learn. So when he say easy to learn, of course, it will be good. It's not hard work. But to, to, I think you've told me before, the fortune teller, it's not like he was a salesman on commission from Mr. Yip Man. They were all friends from Fatsan yeah. together. They, they moved both, to Hong Kong. They both are scorer in Fatsan, starting all the way, you know, really good friends. Yes. That's why, but he also escaped from uh, that, that Red China. That time is not Red China yet, it's 1945, it's yes. not yet. Uh, but still stay in Hong Kong for this. But at that time, I was already talking about it's already 1953, 1953 to 1954. So that's been already it's covered, so things yes. are changing everything. So and then we go in that he said uh, I have to be learned, uh, have to be recommended by fans. It's not. Uh, so it wasn't wasn't open. You no, had to be recommended. Yeah, okay, So he accept. 
So I we go to that and see Mr. Yiman and we do the traditional way and we bowl and give him the a red packet and then that day I become a Wing Chun starting. Was it the same day as you went to the temple? No, we 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 we, we the after we arranging. Yes, arrange they had to arrange because you yeah. couldn't just go. You uh, had to arrange. Yeah, arrange the day we go to see Mr. Yiman. Uh, did you uh, want to understand? Was it your uncle and you who went, or just yeah, we you? We both together. You both. So your uncle yeah. also yeah, joined. Yeah, the same day. Ah, okay, yeah. okay. He, he, my uncle still alive, still live, and uh, he live in New York. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, yeah. but um, before this, so I, everyone can understand. Before that uh, visit to the temple. You had never trained anything else, but no. uh, yeah, I think you told me you, like all young boys, you watch the go to Kung Fu a, yeah, Kung Fu movie, Wong Fei Hong, or those sort of things, yes. uh, and some sort of uh, uh, using some sort of what do you call uh, fake game fashion, or this sort of thing. Yeah, so like all, all yeah, sort of uh, yeah, kids do, you yeah, play yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, so when when uh, the fortune teller and your aunt decided that you were going to learn Wing Chun. Were you excited, worried, afraid? What do you think? Because you were quite young. Yeah, uh, excited, not afraid. Excited. Uh -huh. uh, so we're looking forward to it. Yes. So we went there and seeing went to see Benjamin Wang Shi Fu Yi Man, and then all that done, she recently went to uh, one of the Shi uh, Heng Chui Shou Ti Start Mai. My uncle, uh, you ask. Uh, they come sick to start it. So we, they, the two people, the whole, uh, they pass away. Also, oh, it's individual. So Chu Chongting was teaching yeah, you, and yeah, someone that's why was teaching so you. Yeah, uh -huh. individuals. Wow. Like Can you tell me, so because, uh, correct me, what year again? 1950? 1954. 1954. Who who were the students of Mr. Yip Man then in those days? Oh, they got, so, now I, so far, so that the times, uh, was uh, from bus people, from the bus company, so far those people all are in from the association. I mentioned those, and I don't mention all others from the uh, like the guy of when Bruce Lee went to yes, the yes. I don't mention those people. I mentioned that. The important one is uh, uh, the associates, and then uh, William Chung, yes. or uh, Chung Chap Heng, uh, or the, and his two brothers too. Yeah, uh, uh, William Chung got two brothers. Uh, yes. uh, one is uh, Hong Chai, one is uh, King Kong. All that so far in my eyes, I already see so many. So uh, Bo Ching, yeah. That's about twenty people or so. Yeah, Lord Bu Ching, Long Xiong, Lok Yu. Ah, Long Xiong, Long Yu. That time already in the fifty four is starting school. Already, no, already no. start yes. from that. This was all in the restaurant association. Yeah, yeah. What, what association. address? What, what part of Hong Kong is it? In, in, in some type of Lam Chiang Kai. Uh huh. Yeah. And and Mr. Yip Man was living there also. Yeah, because and living a place is hard. Yes. So only one thing. It's raising too high, everything. Yes. Uh, so he's starting for that first. How big? How big was the training area? Uh, we, we don't need a big area actually. But uh, actually, a room say, uh, uh, what I mean say, uh, about this size would it? Half of this size. Okay, we're we're in yeah, a uh, up to that uh, yeah up to that size. We're we're in a hotel room, but yeah. this is Hong Kong, so hotel rooms yeah. are small. So let me tell you, it's not much room to have yeah, you... twenty of you all training in here. Well, that's a matter. You know, we are so you know, easy because yes. turned here it look like a ten pair. Yes. Because yes. sticking hand. Yes. Like but yeah. you didn't start on sticking hands. No, so, no. Chu Chong Tin took yeah. you the first lesson. What do you do? First I, lesson. I'm doing the first thing is training the Syrian Tao. Mm. The Syrian Tao is already starting that call Yi Ji Kim Yong Ma. Mm. So we tell him, first thing I always remember is say, what is this Wing Chun is? As you, there from there, always say, you, have, you are too hard. So from then on, I always know myself is I have two half. Yes. He said, your left hand side, you look after your left hand side. Right hand side, you look after right hand side. Mm. 
So I know that ah, it's a squeeze, yeah. Left hand, rock hand, my left hand, right hand, I look after right hand. And from that start on, I already sink into my brain. Uh-huh. Oh, that. But how did you um, be patient, Sibu? You know, many young students today learning, hey, you know, show me Bilji, show, show me how to punch. And then instead you're doing Sibu and Tao. Were you, how did you become that patient? That is like another good well, a hard good question to ask me because I don't know why everyone seeing this Mr. Yiman when you as soon you met him, you know that I will be patient. Really? He's yeah. like very calm. Yeah. Uh, true, oh. that's it. True, honestly. Everybody every my seeing see like is like that. As you met him, patient. Aha, uh-huh. well that's very... Uh, well, so he never raised his voice or anything? No He's way, very... no way. That's it. He's so kind. Yes. And you see, you're patient. Yes. And become a, I, w- I will tell I will tell myself I will be a goodie to him. Oh. And I will be goodie myself as well. Like that. Okay, well you, you shared with me before some of the unique things because okay, so we all training together twenty and I think you told me every day is training. Every day I training because I, I'm a school school boy scholar, so I have time. Yes. So after school I have one hour training. Ah yes, yeah. you told me this because yeah. you had time every day, but yeah. because you had to study and you had to travel yeah. there, you are only allowed to train for one hour, oh, one hour. when you're there. Yeah. But the school was open seven days. Seven days. That's it. Yeah, seven days. Yeah. And you told me that uh, so people would come and they would train, and Mr. Yipman would be there yeah. when it was time for meals. Uh, somebody would. Uh, Anybody yeah, who had yeah, money yeah, would yeah, take yeah, Mr. Yeah, Yip yeah, Man. Yeah, yes. yes, that's right. Yeah, yes. exactly. Yeah. So it was yeah. really a sense of family together. Absolutely, it is family. Really. Everybody shared. You I think you, the family. you yeah, told family. me that um, if somebody had a bit more money, then they would invite a few other uh, of the Kung Fu brothers to come and yeah, eat also. Yeah, yeah. So it was everybody shared. That's right. Yeah, exactly. However, you told me, I think at the time, that uh, as a young boy, it was you invested a lot of patience to train, but also it was a big financial commitment for you. How much was training in those days? Because Mr. Yipman had to make a living. Yeah, that's right. Well, for me, school, a school boy, they charge the cheapest one is fifteen dollars a month. Probably those one who are adult people work is is not that much. It may be more than that. Yes. So maybe pay thirty, fifty dollars a month. But fifteen dollars was uh, was considered quite a big sum. for a a a school uh, uh, asking for parents to give you money is a lot of money for uh, because it's enough for me to see picture movie big, yes. have a make can meet a girl have a girlfriend <laughs> all right there. So uh, I think you told me Sibu, that uh, your pocket money was like twenty dollars a month. Yeah. Fifteen dollars for Wing Chun fees, yeah. and then five dollars for the ferry. ferry yeah. So that was all I your money was on Wing Chun. No, I tell everyone or my variety, I said, don't uh, I cannot come out go out with you because I don't no want unless you want to pay for me. Oh. So my for my cousin, I think I told every Sunday bring me out here, all like that. So then I must ask, you must have decided very early on that Wing Chun was the right style for you, for you to give up all your fun times, travel every day to train, uh, give all your pocket money. Obviously you saw something there. You said that you, when you met Mr. Yipmanda Aura, you wanted to not let him down, yeah. you wanted to train patiently. You must have been inspired straight away. Put this way, uh, I, I love fighting. But those that I haven't learned with Kung Fu at that time, I always fight for what each other, I get hit and he get hit, all yes. like that. Always uh, after that, mm-hmm. the people will take us away like that. Yeah. I always like to but Every time Spain sport, always involve fighting. <laughs> every yes. time you always you play basketball, soccer, all like that. Yes. Always. If though you don't have fight, you don't feel you know, something there. Yes. No excitement. Yes. But it is okay. But I never uh, call win. I never call lose. Okay. But I okay. still feel then I joined this one and then first thing, the first six months I already want to try that to others. But this six months I patiently learned the Wing Chun, I know after sticking there and everything. 
So one of the school my I say I have eight days ago, you're doing Hong Kong for one and a half years. How about you both have a <coughs> uh, try and compete, uh, see who's, who, who's better? For those who are not familiar, Hong Kong is another style. Hard what, style. Hard style. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, Hong Kong hard style and uh, more uh, because the like those style Hong Kong already in Hong Kong over as we will say over ninety years teaching in there. But so he was bigger than you. No, we are yeah, same same people. We same size. Oh, same size. Like, okay. Like so because then on so we we do it and then we spa and I, I in the one of the one of the rooms inside the room there. So I go back work and back work and I hit the bed and I fell in the on the bed and the fell still come on and I straight away and my cell defenses and then we fell, I put the knees up and then you couldn't come in. So I say he that's it. See, even he, you know, I six months, he one and a half here, and he still couldn't reach me past. I can defend, I can see him, my feet up, and he come down, he already fearing, falling into it. So I know, ah, that's, I know this is, that style is good for me. So yes. since then, I devolved into it. Before, <clears throat> uh, because there were many such challenges, I want to talk a little bit about it. Mostly people say it was on the rooftop, but as you say, it can be anywhere. It can be a room, anywhere you got room, yeah. challenge match. Now beforehand, I think you used to tell me that you would have some agreement, like for example, you say kicking or all this. Uh, can you tell me, us a little bit about? Yeah, we, we, we always, as soon as we start, we, say, we, we make sure first, the, uh, the person always asks me, uh, uh, you, uh, please, uh, uh, we don't use foot kicking, or like that. So I say, all right, you don't use foot kicking, we always honor our work. It's okay, okay, I'm using kicking. But in case you kick, I have to kick. Yes, I think you told me before, Sifu, yeah. that uh, people will agree not to kick, but then if they start to lose, you can probably expect them to kick, yeah. maybe panic or something. That's like right, yeah, yeah, true. Yes. So. There are people there like that, want to get hit or like that, they won't care unless they suddenly give you a kicking. So you're yeah. always alert. alert. You don't just say, oh, yeah. I don't expect any kicking. You always yeah. have to be alert everywhere. Yeah. That's exactly. Mm -hmm. I always make sure, what well, Kung Fu mean, they always call, uh, I have to be honest, the card why we call Kung Fu, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they call what being Kung Fu, uh, uh, one always, the power is like that, uh, use your eye, use your mind, use your hand, all like that together, Yes. your feet, all that into one thing. Uh -huh. yeah. oh, okay, so because people will be very curious about the training in the old days, so you mentioned that to me before, Mr. Yip Man won't come and teach you directly, mostly it was the Si Hing teaching, yeah. but he will be observing, he supervising. Observing, yeah, he observing, yeah, he's supervising, or yes. that's his more, it, it looked like he seems to be very easy, very relaxed, but he all the time you know, supervising. Yes. But he makes sure everyone uh, would be just uh, trying to be uh, wasting time or that. So it's one thing good about the, under his training, we call everyone as you step into that uh, Mr. Yiman's uh, class, we all are serious training. From the moment you go in? Yeah, from the moment we go in there. So, but all other things wouldn't be that uh, strict, strict or like that. But they, they all are hard training. Everyone hard training. So that influence us can't be just sitting down. We all are. Say for uh, one example, say we both come in, we don't say somebody, uh, we at the same time come in, so we do serum talk and we make that conversation is who's the longer finish. <laughs> so how, how long is it? We end up to be, the end up to be, End up to be one hundred forty-five minutes to finish that. Yes. There is now. Yes. We are all sweating. Yes. Everyone. You know, Hong Kong is a human, so yeah. Uh, yeah. Very, uh, forty-five. 
And and so did um, the seniors, was there like a division? Oh, you're too junior, I don't train with you. Or everybody uh, can uh, train with <clears> each other. Most are saying, but yeah, because you, a student, no matter who, if that is the person, uh, say, uh, 10 years old, come before you, you call him Xuyin. Yes. That's a matter of saying, yeah. Yes. Yeah, age, yeah. Yes. But seeing whatever seeing say something, you just listen. Yes. With the, but they don't want to be thinking, ah, I'm seeing, I tell you do what I like. No, no such thing. Yes, because yeah. uh, you told me it's hard training and you respect your seniors, but Mr. Yipman did not let the seniors take advantage or accidentally even hurt the juniors. Can you tell me the time? Uh, the incident where oh, you were telling that me time, like this. Oh, yeah, one of us uh, called, uh, called uh, Xi Heng, Yi Bo Ching. So it's for the, uh, I, I, I about time to deal with him. So uh, Mr. Yiman uh, tell me, uh, go with uh, Yi Bo Ching, all right? So Yi Bo Ching is a call, he's an arrogant. Mm -hmm. His nickname, also everyone call him the big. Arrogant, <laughs> Dai Cha. Directly, they call him this nickname, yeah. or behind his back. Oh, dai Cha, that uh -huh. is nickname. Yeah. Dai Cha. Dai Cha. Yeah. Oh. It's a Yes. Yeah. Only in those air, uh, people in the association, uh, we can call the name. Uh, besides <laughs> okay. that, okay. Besides that, no more. I yes. mean, until I grow up, I can call that name. Yes. Until, because we are in association that part. So when the time you went to train with uh, Dai Cha, yeah. what can you tell me? Yeah, he was uh, sticking hand and everything, he, he would let me go in and everything, and he can come in to me and I take my hand also fast, but I try to, hey, how come his bones out there, step, stay there, would move. He would move, he stay as the bones also, my folks out, it, I want to do something. So I try to, uh, maybe I will a little bit joking to uh, uh, my need to focus out loose, my focus out a little bit get there. And then from his bones out straight in into my forehead, my temple, temple and then from that part, he's doing the, from that palm three, one, two, three, and then to my head. And I feel this is very wide. Mr. Yipman saw this and hey, he has... Uh, hey, hey, He's already about 30 something years old, already 40 years old. Yes. So we still even tell you, you should. So I'm not intending to do that. That's the answer. So Mr. Yipman is keeping an eye on what's going on yeah. and he didn't yeah. let anybody yeah. bully anyone yeah. Yeah. or yeah. That's right. take advantage of their higher skill. Yeah. So this is the culture. Train hard, but look after each other, yeah. respect each other. Yeah, that's right. So you, you mentioned in that story there's something simple about nicknames and all that. Now, you had a nickname in the school. What was the nickname? <laughs> I don't call myself. Well, I know, but all the other yeah. students call you this, yeah, Lightning Hand. Uh, lightning Hand. Uh, in in Cantonese, how do we say it? I call Xin Din Sao. Xin Din Sao. Uh, I think because they, the, my other attorney would be a little bit slower than I, that's why you know, call me that my hand faster. I don't have to. I don't, yeah, I don't accept that my head is fast. Well, I'm but training. if you ask any of the yeah, the yeah. students from Mr. Yip Man's era, uh, they remember him by this nickname, yeah. uh, Lightning yeah. Hand, to this day. Oh, yeah, but they call me, uh, most because Mr. Yip Man called me Bo Chai. Yes. Bo Chai, everyone know. Even now I'm 77. Yes. Even my whole other, I met them, my, my student, they, they still call me Bo Chai. They yes. be, Little, uh, a little ball, a little ball. Uh, <laughs> but they still call me for that. <laughs> the lightning hand. You, you were telling me a story about how you came. For example, what, what, how did this nickname come about? Can you tell me about the oh, time yeah, you used to yeah, go and train yeah, during the rainy yeah, season? Yeah, actually, my hand come come to fast with quick. Yes, I, I, I admit that it's a quick. It's not for my uh, necessarily can have something can training that it's not. Because one say one season so a raining season and because of that I I go to uh, attend in the in the guy harvest ball. So only she and no other student they have to go there. So because of the rain, only rain, you and Mr. Yipman. Yeah, only rain yes. for that season. So 
he see me on the lonely, so he just doing stick and hand with me. So he stick and hand me, he using all the chat sound to me. Chat sound me jerking, jerking hands. hands. Mm-hmm. And then I was jerking into everywhere. And I only can take about 15 minutes the most. Yes. And I have my part of, every part of my body is exhausted. Yes. So I tell Mr. Yvonne, I said, that one, that's enough for me to go. Yes. Yeah. So it's okay. And then, and then in that fee man is training me there, and we realized I go home, how come he's end? And then I will say, uh, how come I couldn't take it? I, then I, I find out, oh, I am so exhausted because he let my foot running, running, and I that's so I go into the footwork myself then, and I have to training the footwork how to shuffle the small steps, shuffle small step, and pass all the structure of my hand, everything, and then using and feeling the software to fill in the gap. And since then, I can feel that I can, I would feel tired after 15 minutes, but I still let Mister Yiman. Uh, stay and stop for 15 minutes or respect him for not using Mr. Yiman the longer time. Yeah. Wow, that's, uh, that's that's something not many people do these days. Oh, I don't know. That is how my character is like that because yes. uh, I've already like uh, my personality, everything. So since then, and the season in the raining corn and two more people, more my seeing uh, they come in and then I have time to stick in any them. So by that time, I find out my foot fast and I find out, hey, I can just copy Sifu's hand. So I'm using that, that call, that call Jat Sao, and I found, ah, all the, I found out a lot of gift from the opponent. That's why the hand game easy to go in. So, so this is the, actually, lightning hand comes from fast footwork. Fast footwork yeah. and jerking hand together. You, you have no jerking hand, really hard to, yes. but I can, or perform the call lighting. Well, th- I know a lot of people will be interested in another video. We'll have to show you what is your footwork, and it's always a natural footwork. Yeah, you always yeah, taught me yeah. it's very natural, yeah. but fast, yeah. balance, yeah. then you control your yeah. opponent, yeah. like the cat and the mouse. You always used to say yeah, to me. So, right. so now yeah. I understand. Mr. Yipman right. was the cat, and then taught the mouse to yeah. become a cat. Also, yeah. <laughs> all right, yeah. Yeah. that's very good, Sibyl. I wanted to know about your approach to training. Uh, okay, so you, you challenged it. You always uh, believe in practical, not too much theory. So you challenged. But when you went home, uh, did you practice more? So you and Tao, were you thinking about the lesson? And how did you uh, develop outside of the school? Yeah, that's it. And my eyes, I'm crazy what my turn is to learning. Yes. So I will tell you the truth. Even I go to school. We have a school desk, like that. Yes. Right? So I attending the class, but my hand underneath, I'm doing hands <laughs> out, I'm doing books out, I'm doing books out, all that. Is Did your a, teacher ever catch you and tell you off? No, they don't. He doesn't know my hand movement, but I'm not doing it. Yeah, uh-huh. under, under the, the desk. desk. <laughs> all the time. Yes. So, that to me, I'm all the time training. Yes. I didn't let it lose it. Yes. And go home or call, I don't need to do it. Uh, you want to do it? I, I get up early morning to do it. I, I have to do serum now every day. Yes. Yeah. But in school, I have every single hand I do. It. Yes. Like that. And uh, on that point about uh, every day doing serum tau, because I wanted to ask you about some memory from Mr. Yip Man, uh, some advice that he gave you. Uh, you wrote in a book some years ago that he advised you to train student Tao every day and you followed you know, his advice. At that time, I, so I left uh, Hong Kong in 1958 and to Sydney. Then in 1967, I went back and I invited to visit uh, Mr. Yip Man. And then we go to Yam Cha and then talk about it. He's uh, he advising me, he said, uh, Watch it. Don't forget about the Syrian Tao. You have to train Syrian Tao every day. You will find a lot of things there. He just said, You will find a lot of things there. Then I was always thinking how to find things from there. Ah, uh, okay. Now that raises a very interesting point. Yeah. You have told me before about Mr. Yip Man's teaching style. 
because he was a scholar. He wanted people to use their mind. Mm. Oh, so yeah. he's not the kind to tell you, uh, he wouldn't say, uh, Derek, I advise you to train Siulin Tao because of X, Y, Z. He won't give you all the answers. Oh. He maybe suggests to you, go this way. Up to you whether you do or not. So we always say, if I say, he says that you have to use the brain. Why? Uh, first thing, uh, I have to talk about Mr. Yip Man Kanata first, okay? Yes. Mr. Yip Man, his name called Yip Kai Man. The Chinese name his father gave to him. Kai Man means you have to be continuous asking questions. Mm -hmm. I think he's sick of this, though he doesn't like people to ask him questions. Uh -huh. Because he had to ask people a good question. His father forcing him there, yes, that yes. name there. Yes. So I find out is I find out one of I see him or see I ask him something. So go away. Then after him, ha, and he walk away, he tell other, it's no good, he's no good, he's no good. Wow, then I realize. So from then on I make sure I not open my lips. Yes. So I don't ask him questions. Unless he tell me what to do. Yes. I found out, oh, that's me, he's not, he's just, not, he's not smart, you know, not careful, like that. Yes. So I realized then, so I, from then on, well, I only look at others, look at other people training, everything. I find out if they hit, <coughs> say I get hit, so I find out, now how I train, how, if say one of us, or see that I get hit into the, my chest or something, or, right? I go home, they copy the hand, how come I get hit? Mm. That's how I train it, I hope you're asking me. Yes, yes. So, uh, how to get it, I copy that many times, I find out the hand, then I said, how can I stop the hand? Yes. So I'm using the, using serum in the all different uh, corners to find out, ah, I did find out how the end. So you're always researching? Yeah, always, never stop. Yes. Even now, I'm still researching. Yes. Even I'm killed, I do something, I make sure demonstrate, and I make sure the one how, how if I not demonstrate, you not doing this, how come I get that? Oh, I find out, ah, oh, better this way. Yes. That's why. This I, is something I remember, <coughs> Sibu, that you, you, if I asked you a question and you weren't happy with your answer, you would think about it all night. Even sometimes you get out of bed and you yeah. practice and say, and then by the time I saw you the next morning, you had. So many answers for me, yeah. and I, and uh, something that I always reflected upon that you are so passionate about, which you don't even yeah. in your sleep. Uh, you're I am. About. I already said to you. I said you ask me question, you I can't answer. Yes. I won't go to sleep. I still have to find the answer. Yes. But yes. I can't say. Uh, try to say uh, that's it. That's it. That's it. Who said that? No. I always tell people. You are teaching my student. I don't say she who said that. You have to find out yours doing that. Uh, and this is something like you, you, Mr. Yip Man's way, that he never said, you, you told me before, people ask him, Sibu, can I do like this or do like that? He never says, he always say, up to you. Yeah. If right. you can do, you do it. Exactly. Yeah. Which, is, which, which is perhaps <laughs> why today, uh, even from Mr. Yip Man's school, you see many different approaches. Because yeah. Mr. Yip Man is not the type to say, follow my way. Well. If you, but it's also a test of character. If if you are arrogant and you think, oh, my way is better, you can do it. Yeah, Mr. Yuman will, will not it. say, tell no. you that's wrong. Yeah. It's up to you to discover yeah. whether your way is that's right. right. Yeah, very interesting. You mentioned to me before one other story uh, when you went back to Hong Kong, Mr. Yuman's advice to you about character. I found that very interesting. His advice to you about which people and do you, do you remember that one? Well, yeah, of course. Yeah. He's, he, he know that I'm not a rich family come up, uh, yes. brought up. Yes. So he know that all our, my sitting city is a very rich people. Yes. So he just said, hey, don't make it those people because they have a silver spoon in their mouth. They already been spoiled. Mm -hmm. So for you, you still have to struggle your life. Make sure you're struggling all the ways. And this is interesting because I guess Mr. Yip Man because he came from a wealthy family, but then he had to struggle. So yeah. he saw both sides. Ah, now life. you tell me that I wonder why. That. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's true too. Yes. Yeah, yeah, he struggled. I, that's why he's no, I know that I saw him not happy in my uh, childhood, seeing my learning, my, 
Uh, she is not happy all the time. Mm. I'm always thinking of the family in Fatsan or like that. It's yes. because he has to struggle. He find out like that. Yes. Mm. Uh, Sifu, a few questions from uh, people that we will cover, please. At what point, this is from one person, what point did you realize how powerful Wing Chun was? Was it when you were a child or only now after many years of training? Were you aware? I think I, when I child, I know Wing Chun very, very fast. Every hand fast, working, foot will fast. Power, I got no power at that time because I'm young. The bone haven't really developed. Mm. Until I come to overseas, go to overseas, I've met all these people, stronger person, and I realized that I had to be physically uh, build up my uh, not physical for holding up and learning how to uh, uh, toughen all my joints and bone and stand. And then in past, and I put on weight, on more weight, and I find ah, that's it. I need that. And also, cannot be just say, hey, one year, two year, you can thinking, ah, you, you have to fully grow up. It's, it's true. You're actually, your, your experience there is a little bit similar to Bruce Lee's story that everyone knows. You went to America, you went to Australia, suddenly everyone is much bigger, yeah. much stronger than it you. Is, yeah. So that was a real yeah. learning, a testing experience for it's your not skill. That. It's, a, it's a challenge. Yes, challenge. A challenge. And now, even now, I come to find out how to teach and how that. And I wouldn't worry about how big the person is. Mm. In in future, I will demonstrate. Uh, yeah. Yes. Even though I have one finger, I can take the big furrow. Well, actually, we we got a special request on this, Sibu. So perhaps uh, we will just quickly do a demo because when I was advertising this, I said I'm so happy to catch up with Sibu. I encourage everybody to do everything that Sibu said. Train Sulim Thai every year. Uh, look at the health benefits. Yeah, yeah. You won't believe Sifu at his age. Uh, he gets more powerful every year. Every yeah. time I see him. Yeah. And I said to people, don't, they don't believe me. I said with one finger, he crushed me. <laughs> uh, so uh, let me, uh, we're just going to quickly demonstrate what is the power of the stance, Wing Chun stance. What is the power of training? Okay, so we were talking about how Sifu can crush me with one finger. But this is the benefit of training the stance and not people, many people understand the importance and how the power it gives you. So when I met Sifu and he was saying, hey, your stance yeah. is no good. And I always tell everyone, my skill is nothing. You must meet a real master. Then you understand what is Wing Chun's power and skill. So Sifu was showing me here the stance. Yeah. And even with his uh, one finger, like yeah, I try yeah, to resist. Yeah, so first of all, like, let's see now. Sifu is here in his stance and all this. I try and use, I try and use brute oh, force. See, 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 my finger would be yeah. pain, everything. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I can try and now, push against him. Yeah, uh, now I'm using my hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I try and relax. I use my, what I think is Wing Chun. Let me show you the difference, you see. Like I try and relax. Yeah, yeah. I think, oh, can I absorb this force of Sifu's? So I stay relaxed. Everything that I think I know, but then when Sifu applies <laughs> the force, it's impossible to describe. It just yeah. comes right through you. So no matter brute force or I try and relax, no. The secret is to have the proper structure. Yeah. And we'll look at some of this in future videos. Yeah, that, that our our straight line actual and all that is come from the stand. And civil yeah. civil you your every year your stance gets more powerful. <laughs> but thank yeah. you very much everyone for watching. Yeah. We will make more videos and thank you very it much, Sivu. Yeah. Thank you for all your time. Hey, I needed to discuss something important with you. It's really the main purpose of this video, but I've stuck it here at the end. So I've reversed the normal order of things, uh, including the movie reference. So it's kind of like Memento that way. Now, where was I? Oh yes, the, the main point. Why are we doing this? I need to ask all of you for your help. It's not for me, it's for someone that I care about very, very deeply, Sifu Derek. Sifu is like a second father to me, and I want the best for him. I want the world for him, but I'll settle for just two things, recognition and reward. Recognition and reward for a man who has dedicated his whole life to teaching Wing Chun carefully, 
patiently, methodically, and in a customized way. And because of his unyielding teaching standards, uh, he could only teach a small number of students at any time. And because of his unyielding teaching standards, uh, so that he could only teach a small number of students at a time, uh, he never had the time nor the inclination to go out and market himself. So hardly anyone is aware of his skill. Then with his small number of students, uh, add to that he, he, how he insists on waiving fees if he even thinks that a student can't afford them at that, for that month, then he never had the financial reward. Not that Sifu was ever motivated by recognition or reward, but I ask you to think about it. Someone who makes their living from teaching Wing Chun and yet, despite it being their living, they put no focus on marketing or collecting revenue, only on the teaching. Sifu always focused on his teaching, and I think I'm living proof of that. I don't claim to have any special skill, but I think you can tell that I have been well taught. So I'm asking you, please, if this video or any of my videos have been of some use to you, then please help me to give some recognition and reward back to a man who truly deserves it, Sifu Derek. How shall we do this? I've convinced Sifu to try something new. We're going to record some new videos and we're going to put them online. These new videos are going to be on some fascinating topics that you are not going to find anywhere else from the perspective of one of the last masters from Mr. Yip Man's era that is still teaching today about what it was like to train back in the old days, but also how Sivu has evolved his approach to fighting, to teaching, to generating power over 60 years because it has evolved. And so to see the benefit of that journey and the transition and then how he's changed his thinking and why. All of this in the new videos. Even for me, his uh, student for so many years, there are going to be topics here that we, I've never discussed with Sifu before. I will be learning through this as well. So these videos are going to be very unique and very valuable. But this time, instead of just sharing knowledge with everyone, remember recognition and reward for Sifu Derek. That's my focus here. So these new videos I'm going to put on a different site, something like Udemy or some other learning site. I ask you to please pay to access them. And my idea is to still make it very accessible to everyone. So uh, at the top of my head, I'm thinking of like a flat fee of around $70 to access all the material that I'm going to put up there. Let me clearly emphasize though, this I, I'm driving this project. I will handle the technical aspects and putting things up, but that's the extent of my involvement. Everything goes to Sifu Derek. That's the only reason why I am proposing this. Recognition and reward, as I said, for Sifu Derek. No one else. So I'm asking you to please subscribe to that new channel when it goes up and tell your friends, please spread the word, but also please do not copy and share the material. Instead, ask your friends, please also subscribe. Again, I'm emphasizing, this is for Sifu. It's not about just passing it around. I want something back for him at this stage in his life. But don't think of this as some kind of charity. It's more like a Kickstarter campaign. That's what I think it's like. And you will benefit. How will you benefit? Aside from the very unique material that we're going to put up there, and, and by the way, the more people that we can get to subscribe, uh, the more I'll be able to convince Sifu that this is really a good way to reach out to people and communicate, and uh, we'll be able to do more videos. But aside from that, like a Kickstarter fund, your subscription will give Sifu the means to travel for once so that he can go to America, go to Europe, uh, wherever, wherever you are, using the funds that we raise as a, as a means to not have to worry. 
ordinarily when you you're planning uh, overseas seminars and that for any of you who have done it you know the headache you have to to assess the risk will this be viable will it run at a loss all this sort of thing so so to mitigate that risk quite often you end up having to charge those who go to the seminar an arm and a leg so that's that's not great either for those attending it limits the number of people who can go it really makes it painful you have to save for months so this is a way that by creating a fund that we can use for seafood to travel then the cost of attending seminars can be lower and of course uh, those who subscribe to the channel will, will get even further discount over other members of the public so this for the first time will allow seafood to have the means to travel meet you so that you can directly experience his teaching directly ask him questions feel his Wing Chun see the difference of his teaching taste his power for yourself this is a very rare and unique opportunity I'm asking you to help me make this happen for your benefit and of course for Sifu's benefit so that's my idea with these videos it's a very recent idea but we can get it going really fast what I'm asking you to do right now please message below uh, go to the Facebook page, like, I, I don't know, send me a carrier pigeon, whatever. Show me that you are interested in this idea and you're willing to support this new channel. Subscribe to it. If there's enough interest, I will get onto it right away. I think we can get it up and running in less than a week. He says without actually trying, but I'm pretty sure I can. I want to do this as quickly as possible. I'm sure that you can see how these videos and the knowledge in them are going to be a fantastic resource for you. So I ask you, Please support this new idea. Not only will you benefit, but I like to think of it as the right thing to do. Because together, we can show someone who has spent a lifetime giving that sometimes you have to receive a little in return too.